Hey, what's up? Lightbulb Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2019 comedy drama film written by Mindy Kaling, starring Mindy Kaling and Emma Thompson, and a bunch of other people are going to go over late night. So, on my list to my right, your left, Emma Thompson plays Catherine Newberry. She's this late, late night talk show host. Mindy Kaling plays a new writer, Molly, on her, on uh, Catherine's show. John Lithgow, Hugh Dancy, Reed Scott, Dennis O'Hare. Dennis O'Hare. I don't know much of Dennis O'Hare aside from America Horror Story, so it was nice seeing him not play some maniacal psycho on the verge of killing people or, you know, just being a crazy person, crazy murderer that, that Dennis plays so well. So it was nice seeing him, you know, run a writer's room, basically. This shows a lot of in-depth behind the scenes of how, like, late shows are brought about, like, uh... Jimmy Fallon was mentioned, Seth Meyers is literally in this as himself. I thought it was really interesting. I, I thought it'd be more funny than it actually is. There's drama and comedy parts to it, so it's a matter of breaking the stereotypes of keeping the privileged white male as your sole source of hire. You know, you need that diversity to broaden the horizons, normalize the common folk, you know? Not just cater to one demographic, cater to all demographics. So... Emma plays this character, Catherine, who's very, you know, late 50s, one mindset, doesn't like change, um, doesn't understand really viral stuff, hashtag stuff, meme stuff, things of that nature. So the, the network wants to get rid of her with Ike Barinholtz, who is a genius. And Emma eventually tricks Ike into saying that he wants her to stay on her own show. I thought that was really neat. But it was a lot of back and forth. It was really... A matter of how do you adapt to modern times? How do you do so in a way that's fair to all? How do you, you know, accept certain realities? It was it was neat. I, I give it a lot of credit. I'm not used to dramatic parts of Mindy. Um, I'm used to a lot more comedic parts of Mindy. For instance, you know, I got to take that back because Never Have I Ever on Netflix, which is one of the greatest shows I've ever seen, and we talked about this, is a Mindy Kaling project. And never have I ever had the greatest character development I've seen in any such a short time period of 10 episodes long, of 24 minute long episodes of that nature, right? Season one. Quick wise. I mean, of course, you know, Netflix wise, we're talking 13 Reasons Why character development, of course, but that's 13 episodes and they're hour long each. They're not 30 minute long each. So each thing has their own version of times, right? The middle is my absolute favorite TV show. I have a, literally a tattoo of an axe with heck written in the hilt is a pun. Axel heck, right? Yes, I'm aware that it's the size of a hatchet, but this is the pun that I thought appropriate for representing my all time favorite TV show, the middle nine glorious seasons, right? Axel heck had incredible character development, but it took nine seasons of 22, 23, 24 episode seasons to get that character development. Never have I ever had 10 episodes of 24 minute long episodes for season one ridiculous amounts of character development my point and why i went on this little ramble is um mindy can do drama she can do comedy and she can do drama so this movie was last year 2019 never have i ever just dropped 2020 so i'm excited i'm really excited to see what future endeavors in the comedic dramatic role of writing producing and starring for Mindy. Just a goddess amongst us mere mortals. I'm so proud of her. And I say that because I've been watching her stuff since The Office. Way back when she was Kelly. Way back when she was even dating BJ Novak. Way back in the day. Right? So it's really nice to see how much... How do I say this? Mindy was a a rock thrown into a pond and she is still creating tidal waves. I'm, I'm just so, so amazed. So amazed. She's just incredible. So yeah, that's me praising Mindy Kaling and this really great movie, Late Night. Go watch it. It's on Prime actually right now for those of you who have Prime. Yeah, that's all I got. Where's your mahalo?